out of order is all about your manifestation to straighten out. Patapusin mo ako. The Honorable. Huwag ka may bastos. Patapusin mo ako. Guaranteed by the Constitution because I believe this committee cannot be above the law, especially the Constitution. But do not play to the crowd saying that your rights are violated in this committee. It's not. Nakontempt ang SMNI host na si Jeffrey Seles, matapos ang paulit-ulit nitong pagtanggi, na pangalanan ang kanyang source na unverified information, na nagsasabing gumasto si Speaker Martin Romualdez, ng 1.8 billion pesos sa kanyang travel expenses. I will not answer it because I am protected by law as per advice and conference with my lawyers here. Uh, I am protected by the SOTO law unless the SOTO law is repealed, I will be uh, under the protection of the SOTO law. Republic Act number 53. Mr. Chair, okay. Mr. And the Chair. review statements made, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman, please, were made without the competent advice of legal counsel. That's why I was requesting humbly for this honorable committee chaired by Congressman Tambunting that all those testimonies regarding the testimonies I made here can be stricken off the record if it may be considered as a request. Mr. Because Chair. those are admissible and inadmissible. Gugugol ng Pasko at bagong taon si Celes sa detention facility dahil magbe-break na ang Kongreso sa December 15 at magpapatuloy ang session sa January 22 sa susunod na taon. Mariin ang pagtanggi ni Celes na sagutin ang katanungang, sino nga ba ang kanyang source sa isyong 1.8 billion pesos na nagastos ni Speaker Romualdez sa kanyang travel budget? Matatandaan na sa umpisa pa lamang ng hearing, noong December 5, tinawag ni Celis na kangaroo court ang panel. Panoorin po natin ang mga naging sagutan ng mga miyembro ng House Committee on Legislative Franchises at ni Jeffrica Eric Celis. Mr. Chairman, Honorable Members of this committee, may I be allowed please to manifest a statement of clarification before I proceed to answer the question of Honorable Congressman J.G. Suarez because I believe that the statement that I am going to make as an opening premise to the answer that I should be giving to the Honorable Congressman will settle everything and clarify before the nation a very important statement that I want to make. Mr. Chairman, may I be allowed, please? Uh, before I allow you, I'd like to remind everyone that uh, we uh, your oath yes. has been uh, administered in the last uh, session. And this uh, it will continue up to today. Yeah. So you're under oath. Yeah. So lahat po sabi po natin ay ang katotohanan. Yeah. Okay. Can I proceed, Mr. Chairman? Yes, Please. you may. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Honorable Ako. Meron pong katanungan si uh, Honorable Suarez. Di po ba? Opo. Eh, hindi ba dapat sagutin lang ng resource person or witness yung katanungan muna? Okay. Bago siya mag-explain. Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you for the reminder, Congressman Hakob, sir. And to the members of this committee, I feel, and it is my right to state before this committee and the August Chamber of Congress, that this committee is not above the law. No one in government is above the law. We are a government of laws. I am protected under the SOTO law. I have the constitutional right. I requested per record that I may be given competent advice and assistance of a legal counsel, and such right is guaranteed by the Constitution. And such right is also stipulated clearly in Section 12 of the Governing House Rules pertaining to committee hearing and conduct of investigation. And even if I am not in a court trial, the right to seek out counsel advice and assistance from a counsel is a part of principle of due process, a principle guaranteed by the Constitution. And I believe before I will answer any further question, may I manifest respectfully and humbly before this committee that all the statements, even after under oath, in the absence of competent legal advice and assistance previously, may be granted to be stricken off the record because I believe my constitutional rights were violated. Point of order. 
uh, the answer manifestation of Mr. Seles is out of order. He said, he is out of order because you cannot take place in this house and you cannot move only members of the, you ask members of this house. Yes, I am explaining, no. sir. I am not uh, moving. No, your manifestation uh, is out of order. I am requesting. Do not picture us. No, I am not picturing. This I am standing up for my right. Mr. I am standing up for my right. Remember, Kairi. we might cite you in contempt. Then so be it. Your Honor, you challenge us? Yes. Sorry. If that will be seen in the nation, na walang karapatan ang mga invited guests dito na magpahayag, Your Honor, with due respect to you. Mr. Chair. Mr. Zeman. Um, Mr. Chair, I move. I move into or I'm out of order. And what's the what's the position of the chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, Mr. Mr. Chair, 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 ng ating mga ano, ng ating uh, uh, bisita. Pero alam po ninyo, uh, last, kung ang ginagamit nyo po ay yung hearing nung huli at wala kay representasyon, hindi po namin kasalanan. Kasalanan po ng mga abogado ng SMNI dahil sila mismo on record ang nagsabi na they are here to represent SMNI and not the anchors because dumistansya nga ho sila ang sabi nila, hindi po namin kabaho ang bigyan ng representasyon ang ang uh, angkor. That's why nung humingi po kayo, si, ang pinaluwanan ko, hindi po pwede sila magdepensa sa inyo. Dapat po humingi kayo ng iba. Dahil hindi po pwede sila ang magdepensa because they are on record. Under oath, ang sabi nila, kami ay abogado ng SMNI at hindi kami abogado ng mga angkor. Claro po yan, Kyrick. Your uh, Honor, if I may please. You, you cannot. You're not allowed. I'm going to, yes. Uh, to explain why I cite him out of order. Because he manifested that the previous records, it is taken out of records and as resource person, they are not allowed. For Your that. Honor, I am Please, going to be I, detained I this in this system. chamber and I, I am submitting system. myself before the country in protest my Mr. Chair, point the border, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, point the border. Mr. Chair, point the border, Mr. Chairman. In border. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Podium. There is a point of order, the Honorable uh, Dan Fernandez. The Honorable Dan. Mr. Chairman, point the. Mr. Chairman. Out of order is all about your manifestation to strike on how. Patapusin mo ako. The Honorable. Huwag ka may bastos. Patapusin mo ako. Mr. Chairman, I will just like to correct. I am not stopping him to issue statement. What I'm saying is, and what I'm pointing out of order is the manifestation that the previous statement, that the previous record should be taken out of order. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. He's not allowed to do it. Point of order. Uh, the point of order. May we, may we remind the uh, resource speakers and the uh, members of this committee to uh, observe the uh, proper decorum. Correct. Uh, if the uh, chairman uh, acknowledges uh, a certain personality, uh, let him speak and uh, yes. don't uh, interrupt the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, members of this committee while Correct. the uh, member is given the right to uh, to speak. Maraming salamat po, Mr. Thank chairman. you, the Honorable Dan Fernando. Honorable uh, Ako is recognized. <coughs> uh, Mr. Selis. Please be reminded that in this committee and this house, we have That's rules to follow. Hindi po ba namin sinusunod yung mga rules? Matanong ko nga po. Yes, sir. I oh, feel that is my... I would like to remind you mm. that these rules are supposed to be followed by members of this committee and by the witnesses or resource persons to be present. And one of these rules is that before you can speak, you ask permission from the chairman. Kami nga, hindi kami nagsasalita na walang permission yung chairman. You better follow that rule. Otherwise, baka mapilitan akong gawin yung hindi ko dapat gawin. Thank you. 
Donor vote. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair. Oh. Wait, I think uh, Donor vote Ace Barbers. I was, I was raising a point of order. Order earlier, but uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry Hattop. I didn't uh, hear you. That it's well, okay, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, because I just want to refresh your memory, no, our resource person. <laughs> na no one is curtailing your right. In fact, kaya kang nandi ito binibigyang ka ng panahon, ng oras para magsalita. But do not play to the crowd, saying that your rights are violated in this committee. It's not. Tayo ay nasa demokrasya, di ba? I believe you were a former member of the NPA. And, diba? And alam mo kung ano yung pinaglalaban natin dito, di ba? So, never ever insult the committee. Much more any of the members of this committee. Kasi medyo yun ang upfront. Yun ang upfront sa amin. And... Do not challenge us to do what we feel is right to do to you, because you might not like it. I am just going to remind him of that, Mr. Chair. Thank you. The Honorable Ace Barbers. Any other member that would like to speak? I believe that this is an aid or an inquiry in aid of legislation, and resource persons should be reminded that they should observe proper decorum. I'd just like to remind all the resource persons that under Section 11, this inquiry, or for that matter, Congress has the power to contempt. The committee may punish any person for contempt by a vote of two-thirds of the members present, there being a quorum. And there are six grounds for contempt, one of which is letter E, acting in a disrespectful manner towards any member of the committee or any misbehavior in the presence of the committee. So, Mr. Chair, we do not want to cite a resource, for, a resource person for contempt. Uh, kaya nakikiusap kami sa'yo, uh, ka Eric, na kompwende, please respect this committee and observe proper decorum. Nasa rules po natin, now you cannot speak uh, if you are not recognized by the chair. Actually, naka-strike one na po kayo, Ka Eric. Kanina, you were not recognized by uh, the chair, but you kept on talking. So again, may I advise Ka Eric, we are not suppressing your rights, but also respect this committee and observe proper decorum. Thank you very much. Mr. Chair, if I may continue. Um, there was a question raised by the Honorable Suarez. Alam po ninyo, Kairik, kung meron po kayong karapatan, may karapatan din po ang committee. Lahat po tayo may karapatan dito. So, ang tanong ho, yes or no, may tanong si Congressman J.J. Suarez, huwag na ho natin pahabain. Yes or no? I will refuse to answer, Your Honors, not because I disrespect this committee, but I will invoke my right, guaranteed by the Constitution, because I believe this committee cannot be above the law, especially the Constitution. Um, can, I, can I just no, say, no, Mr. Jay 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 Suarez. Yes. Um, what, what right is that you are invoking, uh, Mr. Salis? The Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights guarantees me for the guarantee of due process and uh, even the Soto Law and even the House Rules. Constitution, yes. Constitutionally um, guaranteed rights, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman, yeah. cannot Mr. be violated by any branch of the government. Uh, uh, Eric, may katanungan. Um, is that clear? Uh, alam po ninyo, Kai Eric, uh, meron ba kayo kasamang abogado na yun? May I answer? Uh, that's why I, I am requesting since last uh, hearing that I may be given the counsel. Now, alam I will ninyo, hire. Alam mo if you keep going back last hearing, ang tanong ko na yun. I will hire Bak Attorney Mark Tolentino and Attorney Rorik Soplico as my personal choice okay. to do so, legal counsel. Everything that you say now is guided by your lawyer who's yes. also here. Not yet, sir, because they are not, uh, Mr. Chairman, permitted and granted authority to be recognized as my legal counsel. That's why I'm requesting. I'm I'm hiring today, this afternoon, Attorney Mark Tolentino and Attorney Rorik Soplico. Are the lawyers uh, accepting that uh, mandate? Because you remember, in the last hearing, you manifested that you are not representing Ka Eric and the anchors because of the disclaimer issue. Uh, so, uh, are you accepting? I'm accepting, Your Honor. 
Attorney Rolex Suplico. I am accepting your honor. Okay. So thank you very much. So everything that will be say or the go no ka Eric. May abogado na po kayo. Yes or no? May I request again? Yes. Uh Congressman Honorable JG Suarez to refer to the chair. question, Ayon. please. Yeah. Now with the presence of your your lawyer. Um it's just you know a little bit uh ironic that uh in the past few days you've been on air talking about the the hearing, talking about your opinions on the about the hearing, and together with the uh, attorney Mark Tolentino, I think there was a a few episodes na magkasama pa kayong dalawa. So you're very vocal and you're very opinionated about your position. And last hearing, I just want to remind you, you apologize to the committee because the statements that you issued in your um, show, kasama, kasama, kasama ang bayan, tama po ba yun? Yes, sir. Kasama, kasama ang bayan. Humingi ka man ng paumanhin Dahil yung sinabi mong 1.8 billion ay walang katotohanan. Ginamin nyo yun. Ngayon, sinabi mo, ang source mo ay galing sa Kongreso. Sinabi ko mula sa House of Representatives, ang sabi nyo po ay hindi po House. Dalawa po yung House, Congress at Senate. Sinabi nyo, kinonfirm nyo na lalaki na taga-Senado. Ngayon po, naglabas na po ng statement, mismong Senate President na. Ang nagsasabi, hindi na ito nanggagaling sa amin, although I am pressing hard that I want you to reveal that source because we want to find out the truth. Uh, Mr. Celis, the truth, and nothing is more important than the truth. So I'm asking you nicely, who is your source? May I qualify, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman? May I be allowed to speak? Yes, sir. but before that, I'd like to remind you and the lawyers that under Section 13, the participation of counsel in this hearing for the witness during the hearing and while the witness is testifying shall be limited to advising the legal rights of the uh, of the witness. Is that clear, Attorney Tolentino and Attorney Suplico? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. That will only limit it to that. Wala ho tayong coaching dito, ha? Yes. Eric Eric. Yes, yes, sir. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for the recognition. Uh, Mr. Chair. Congressman Suarez, sir. Please answer straight yeah. directly, ha? Wala ho tayong paligoy-ligoy na sagot ko dito. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, Can I say something yes. before you put it? Thank you. Order. Yeah. No. Go ahead, go ahead. No. Please. Just want to be enlightened. Uh, what is the decision of what is your decision regarding the prior motion made by by Congressman Paduano on well the there's a motion was a there's point a motion. of order no he only made the point of order so he oh, was okay. declaring him out thank of you, order thank you thank you thank uh, you yes the, yes proceed yes or no yeah thank you for Mr Chairman please answer directly huh? I will not answer it because I am protected by law as per advice in conference with my lawyers here, uh, I am protected by the Soto law. Unless the Soto law is repealed, I will be uh, under the protection of the Soto law. Republic Act number 53. Mr. Chair. Okay. Mr. And Mr. Chair. the previous statements made, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman, please, were made without the competent advice of legal counsel. That's why I was requesting humbly for this honorable committee chaired by Congressman Tambunting that all those testimonies regarding the testimonies I made here can be stricken off the record if it may be considered as a request. Mr. Because Chair. those are admissible and inadmissible. Kaya kalam nyo, lagi nyo sinasabi yung Soto Law eh. Anong pong portion ng Soto Law ang tuwetukoy ko nyo? Anong particular provision sa Soto Law? Pakibasa po. I will, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I will request my counsel to give me the particular provision or they may be allowed to Reference the particular no, provision. We are requesting you. I don't have the copy of the Soto then law. Then I will suggest that the council give him a yeah. copy of the Soto law. Okay. Because we do not, you're only supposed to, like I said earlier, hindi ho kayo pwede magsalta. Ayan magsalta si, si Ka Eric. Mr. Chairman, may I be allowed to read uh, the pertinent provision from the Soto law? 
without prejudice, uh, this is section 1 uh, of 11452 as amended. Without prejudice, face inability or ability under the civil and criminal laws, any publisher, owner, or duly recognized or accredited journalist, whether reporter, writer, contributor, opinion, writer, editor, columnist, manager of media, or other media practitioner involved in the writing, editing, production, and dissemination of news or mass circulation of any print, broadcast, wire service organization, or electronic mass media, including cable TV, television, and its variants, cannot be compelled to reveal the source of any news item, report, or information appearing or being reported or disseminated through other or the said media which was related in confidence or reported in confidence. Above mentioned media practitioners unless the court or the House of Representatives or the Senate or any committee of Congress finds that such revelation is demanded by the national security of the state. Uh, Eric, your honor. Pero may magtanong Mr. po, para humaliwanag. Mr. Chairman, can I explain the no. provision? Where, 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 I will have to answer first the position raised by the, by the witness. Uh, so, ang una po po sinabi nyo, accredited journalist. Kayo ba'y accredited journalist? Uh, uh, kay Eric, kayo po ang tinatanong po. Kayo po ba'y accredited journalist? The accreditation or the license to practice journalism does not require any uh, particular organization or government entity to give us license or accreditation for broadcast. If you are referring, Mr. Chairman, to KBP, membership to KBP is voluntary. KBP is not an absolute regulatory power for broadcast. So, ano we are like an NGO and private so ano organization. Pong, ano pong basihan nyo, ano basihan ng provision niyan, nung sinabi niya kailangan accredit, is kayo nagsasay itong batas? Kayo kayo nagsasay itong prohibition? Mr. Chairman? Accredited journalist. Hindi ho, hindi ho kayo, sino dapat mag-accredit sa inyo? Semina is an accredited and franchise granted media. And therefore, the prerogative in the decision for editorial decision, who can broadcast or cannot broadcast in their station rest with the franchise granted to them. Therefore, hindi po kami required na maghingi ng uh, ay tulot sa gobyerno na mag-broadcast kami doon. Dahil kami po ay bahagi ng isang media organization na may legitimate existence as granted by franchise. Yes, but remember, may disclaimer. Ang sabi ng SMNI, hindi po nila pananagutan ang gagawin nyo. At hindi na nga raw kayo empleyado, sabi nila. So, ergo, hindi ko, hindi ko namin agad-agad kaya tanggapin yung inyong mong kahe. Pakalawa, I would like to remind you that this is a house inquiry which is provided for by the SOTO law. And third, tatanungan ko, security of state, binanggit nyo. Ano po ibig nyo? Ito ba security of state? Tingin nyo itong isyong to? Which is an exception? Ang 1.8 billion na pagtatanong ko po, your honors, Mr. Chairman, ay hindi po threat to national security. Kapag ito po ay tinatanong ng mga media practitioners at ng mamamayan patungkol sa tamang pangangalaga sa pundo ng bayan. And I believe Congress is not exempted from public transparency and accountability in the disposal of public funds. Alam po din okay. Mr. Chair, I think I still security. have the floor. Yes. 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 Uh, huli ang katanungan. Alam po yung security of state sa, sa amin. Ito po yung sinabi nyo na empleyado ng Senado ang nagbigay sa amin, yan po ay seguridad ng ating uh, institusyon, seguridad ng ating bayan. So, okay. the, kaya po, ito po ay hindi nyo po pwede isight ang sotolo. Mabuti po, malaman nyo na po ang posisyon. At ito ay pinag-aralan po natin, may abogado po kayo, mayroon din po kami mga abogado dito, may mga researchers po kami. At ang sotolo ay hindi po applicable dito sa sinasight nyo. Sa tatlong tinanong po, pare-pareho, hindi ho po pwede yan. The Honorable J.J. Suarez, you, very much. you are Th recognized. So, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, so, let's just um, 
go back to points that have already been established. Number one, the statement that you issued were false. You admitted it and you apologized for it last hearing. Number two, you mentioned that your source is from Senate. And Caselis, Mr. Celis, the law that you have just stated that you sought to use to protect your right and not to reveal your source apparently has been ruled uh, cannot be applied. So therefore, I'm asking you again, uh, dahil may kinalaman na to, may mabigat po ang kinalaman ang ang repercussions nito ah. You're talking about interparliamentary relationships between the House of Representatives and between the Senate. And none other than the Senate President has already issued a statement about this. So I don't think you see the gravity of the statements that you have issued between both houses in Congress. Now, Mr. Celis, for the last time, please identify your source. Mr. Chairman, may I be allowed to answer? Um, Mr. Chair, this is the fourth time I asked Mr. Celis this question. And every time I asked him this question, ang laki ng introduction, wala pa rin yung sagot. Pwede po ba this time? Pag pinagbigyan na, pinagbigyan natin siya magsalita, sabihin niya na po yung pangalan. Kasi kung mag-introduction lang kayo, tapos si site niyo na naman, eh, dinis, dinisalaw ko na. Siya sabi ko na hindi yung namin kayang tanggapin yung sotolo for these particular uh, issues. And we provided the basis for that too. Sa mga binigkas yung provision, doon ko mismo hinugot ko yung argumento namin. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, kung hindi ko yung sasagot, we will not allow you anymore. Kasi nagre-request na si David, si Congressman Suarez ng kasagutan, pangalan ang kailangan niya. Okay. Mr. Chairman, may I be... Ibigay po po kayo mo ng pangalan o hindi? May I request that I be allowed to confirm in my legal counsel, please? Oh, they're right, they're right beside you. They can confirm. Yeah. May I request for at least yes. a one-minute conference with them? Please. Okay. Sir Chairman, uh, may I please once again, please. Okay, please proceed. In our constitutional democracy, Hindi. only the courts can interpret the laws, not Congress. Okay. Salamat so I will po. not answer that question because I believe Congress does not have the right to interpret laws. Okay. It's Mr. Chair, with Mr. Chair, Congress to put laws, must not, not to interpret laws. Mr. Chair, Ah, I make back my, uh, my statements. Mr. 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 Chair. Mr. Chair. Okay, Mr. Chair. Honorable Toby Chanko is recognized. Mr. Chair, in the sense of fairness, um, since we really want to know the source, para malaman natin kung ano talaga yung pinagkakalat nito, would we allow um, ka, uh, Mr. Celis, ka Eric, to reveal the source in executive session? Would the yeah. chair allow? Yeah. Yes, uh, ka Eric. It's an excessive session, an option for you. There's a suggestion by the Honorable Toby Chanko of Navotas na kung ayaw niyo po sabihin sa harap ng uh, camera at sa publiko, okay lang ba, executive session? We will call for executive session now para lahat ho ng options ay binigay na po namin sa inyo. Kairik? That would be very dangerous for other media practitioners present here because it will create a very dangerous and negative precedence on the protection of source provided by law. I will refuse still. Salamat, Your Honor, Salamat respect. po. Mr. Salamat Chair. Po the Honorable, wait. The Honorable Toby Chanko is still recognized for a follow-up question. 
No, I just wanted to manifest that the reason that we're Mike, suggesting an executive session is to show na tayo naman, hindi naman tayo we, we, na binibigyan natin siya ng pagkakataon na i-reveal. Kung talagang gusto niya pangalagaan, at least an executive session. But it seems ayaw niya pa rin po, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, it is very clear that Mr. Celis does not want to answer the question to reveal the source whether in this inquiry or in, in executive session. So therefore, Mr. Chair, under Section 11, the power to contempt, letter E, grounds for contempt is for a resource person refusal to answer any relevant inquiry. Actually, Mr. Chair, Mr. Salis has already violated two provisions of Section 11. The first one, acting in a disrespectful manner, and the second one, which is very more important, rather, is his refusal to answer the question in a relevant inquiry. On this note, Mr. Chair, I move to contempt to, to cite for contempt, Mr. Celis, for on these uh, two grounds under Section 11. So move, Mr. Chair. Second the motion. There's a motion uh, yes. to be seconded. Any objections from any member Mr. Chairman. of this committee? There being no objections on a Mr. unanimous Mr. vote, the... Mr. Uh, Ka Eric is uh, cited for uh, Mr. Chairman. May be recognized. Ask the Sergeant of Arms to please uh, Mr. take uh, on Mr. 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 Chair. Ka Eric. Mr. Chair. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chair. Mr. Chairman. Can we uh, can we request the Sergeant at Arms to Mr. practice Chair. his uh, responsibility after the hearing? Because there's still uh, other uh, details that Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Point of order. Uh, the motion was for Mr. Seris to be cited in contempt. And I think there's supposed to be a second motion. Yes. No, the, sec uh, the motion should be for him to be incarcerated, uh, detained. Where? Because under our law, the contempt of the committee shall be deemed contempt of the House. The person cited in this section may, upon order of the committee, the be detained in such place as the chairperson or acting chairperson may designate. In other words, uh, we have to decide where to detain him and for how long, Mr. Chair. That's supposed to be the second motion. Mr. Chair, I believe with regards to the duration, it will be up to this committee to decide and, of course, to Mr. Salis, kung kailan po niyo sasagutin yung tanong natin, and then maybe we could lift the contempt. But as long as hindi pa niya sinasagot yung tanong natin, the contempt will remain. Mr. Chairman, final statement before niyo po, Koy Kulong. Mr. Chair, I uh, move for Can a... Can I have a final statement, please, sir? Before po ako magpapakulong, I have... Uh, I request the committee. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. In an earlier motion, Mr. Chair, we have already approved to cite for contempt Mr. Sellis. In those note, uh, on this note, Mr. Chair, I move to detain him in the premises of Congress as per our uh, rules on Section 11. So move, Mr. Chair. The motion. Kung gusto mo ang mga ganitong kwento, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at ihit mo na din ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa aking mga bagog videos.